So this is the binary mix that I was testing the uh, permeability of the liquid component in the laboratory. And you can see that once I bagged it up, some of the liquid actually came out. And that's kind of a good thing because the chemistry gets right, the sensitivity goes down and it's harder to set this off. So I'm gonna put a cap in this and see how it detonates. And I'm gonna do it here on our 40 millimeter target. What this is is a sloped range for us to fire 40 millimeter ammunition into to see if it still works so the grades, so that the fusing works. Fire in the hole. Smoke, smoke. Let's go. I gotta find my plate. So if you'll notice, I put that bag on here and this was completely flat. And for a binary explosive to, to hit that with zero shaping, and keep in mind, the blasting cap was on the side. If it had been on the top, pushing the blast down, there would have been even more effect. But it's, it's fairly impressive that it spanked it like that uh, and pushed that plate in. And we do have a blast zone around here that's pretty impressive. Now, one of the interesting things about that blast, if you notice, it had white smoke. That's because it's very often in binary explosives that they're oxygen positive. And so the products tend to be more of a white color, but uh, you know, it probably was not a military explosive, probably. 